How to Georeference Imagery in Global Mapper Have you ever had to load an image, an old map, or data into Global Mapper and found that it had no coordinates and therefore couldn't be placed in the workspace? If so, have no fear. To use this data in Global Mapper, you can manually place it with a process called georeferencing by comparing it to the reference data in the same location. First, when loading an unreferenced image into Global Mapper, you will be met with a dialog asking if you would like to manually rectify the image. The Image Rectifier tool has three windows, the Unreferenced Data Overview to the left, the Zoomed View of Unreferenced Data in the center, and the Reference Data View to the right. These windows let you map the unreferenced image against the existing reference dataset or image in Global Mapper. You can use your keys to pan the image. To geo-reference the image, control points need to be added. These control points will be recorded as coordinates in the current projection. The easiest way to place a control point is by clicking to place a point in both the unreferenced data and the reference data. Clicking at the point location in each of these views will populate the point coordinate values. If you're happy with your first control point, click the Add Point button to add the control point to the list. Repeat this process to add multiple control points spread throughout the unreferenced image. Once all control points have been added, click OK at the bottom right of the rectification window to import the rectified image into a Global Mapper workspace. To learn more about georeferencing images in Global Mapper, read the blog on this topic available at bluemarblegeo.com. And if you're considering Global Mapper or Global Mapper Pro, download a free trial today.